All right. Hopefully, you can hear me. No, this one says VL. We're at we're at Pete's Coffee this morning, getting coffee. This is such a big. This is the smallest size they had. How's your breakfast? In this building, they have this weird floor. It freaked us out because it moves, but it generates energy. Isn't that so cool? You go make the energy. So we just got off the shuttle at stop 16, Happy Isles slash Mist Trail. That's what we're doing today, the Mist Trail. Um, our the shuttle bus driver was really wacky. <laughs> it was cool. Fun, fun way to start the morning. Um, we can hear water falling, so hopefully that's a good sign that we'll see some water today. Oh, it might just be this little stream here. Still something. Moving water. Flowing water. Oh my god. It's a deer. It's a tour guide right here. <laughs> okay, so we're here and we're just gonna walk up to the footbridge. Or maybe up to here because this is where we'd normally go to the top of the falls but it's closed at the moment so the only way around is to go this way but that is, seems to be a much more difficult walk Okay, we're officially starting the trail. It's about 1.3 k's to the bridge. I'm sad because it's our last full day here. We won't get to see things like this anymore. You can hear the water going. There's water down there. Like, look at these views. quite the uphill climb. It is. Can you guys tell that Keith likes the colour green? It all matches. Your bag blends into your t-shirt. I'm off now. I'm blending into milk tea. So I don't feel like my bags. Having a little break. This natural stopping point. Hair up. It's getting warm. I think we're here. But I don't think we can get to the fall. No, I think you can get up to there though. Yeah. We've reached the footbridge. Um, there's a toilet and water filling thing here if you're interested. It's good to know. But I think we're just going to turn around here. I don't think we can go much further. No. I Unless we do a huge hike, which I don't feel like doing. No, we don't have enough water for that. No. So we'll go back down and then have some lunch. It's harder going down than it is going up. Because there's like this annoying amount of dirt on the path that makes it like a tiny bit slippery. So you have to really plant your feet down. Otherwise you're going to slip everywhere. And we made it down. We just stopped um, on this big log. I'm just having some lunch. What do we have? Sandwiches. What's in the sandwiches? The jackfruit from last night. Ah. Mm. It's good. 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 It's It's really good. I didn't understand the rest.
going. That's something. That's not. Is that a fox? Yeah, it's not there. Oh, that's a fox or something, or Cody or something. Oh my god, we saw real life bears. A bear and two cubs. And it ran across the road, I didn't get footage of that. It was like in the open for a little bit, but I couldn't get footage. We were just waiting for the shuttle and this guy was like, oh my god, I see a bear. Unfortunately, everyone got like really close to it. Yeah. Like I zoomed in from really far away, but okay. then we sort of got really close. and. It's a bear. And then we saw like, I don't know if the footage will show it too well. I tried to record it, there was like a fox or a coyote or something. It could have been a mountain lion. It wasn't a mountain lion, it looked like a dog or something. But yeah, we saw a bear. Nature. Alright, we're walking to Lower Yosemite Falls. We are here. We are going to there. But there will be no water unfortunately, so I don't know what the walk's going to be like. This is the beginning of our walk. Looks pretty nice. I think that's where the water is meant to fall. You can sort of see it against the rocks. But there's no water. This is what the waterfall would look like. So there's the water falling. Sorry for the incredibly shaky footage, but there is water falling if you look very closely. And there we can see the waterfall in all its glory. We have successfully seen the waterfall and now we are walking back to the shuttle so we can take that around to our car and then we'll probably head back to our Airbnb because we have to pack because we leave tomorrow morning. That was a random bell while we're walking. Okay, we're back at the Airbnb. I'm so tired. Having my little muffin snack and watching the baseball. Okay, and for dinner, we just got something simple. We're doing uh, potatoes and butter and herbs and spices. We got vegan chili and spinach. So it's just like packet stuff because we're lazy. It's our last night. All right, it's 7 a.m. Finished packing up. We're saying goodbye to the Airbnb and to Yosemite. Just doing a final sweep of everything and then we're going to hit the road. One last stop before we leave. We're at the Yosemite Valley View car park. Uh, we actually tried to come here yesterday but it was so full we couldn't get a spot. Um, so I just jumped out and took some footage. But this morning there's absolutely no one here. Well, I'm just precariously navigating down to the river which is not much of a river right now but look at this view we're heading out of the valley now goodbye Yosemite 
miss you. We're doing Starbucks drive through It's the first drive through in America, actually. Starbucks, safely acquired. And we got these kale and mushroom egg bites. Yummy. We're still driving to the airport now. So we rented this car through Avis in Vegas. Hey, that rhymes. Um, and there was an option to... Because you know normally with rental cars, when you drop it off, you have to fill it up. But at this place, they were like, you can choose the option to uh, lock in their rate and just return it as empty as possible. So you're paying for one uh, full tank. And the Vegas price is five... We locked in at 5.50 a gallon. Because the lady at was like yeah it makes more sense because we we're dropping off in San Francisco and San Francisco is going to be more expensive there's all these people someone staring at me <laughs> okay. um yeah because yeah and she was saying around the airport's probably going to be over seven dollars so we are trying our best to return the car as empty as possible um I think it's 70 miles from where we are it's about 70 miles to the airport we have the car says there's about 50 left so we're filling up i looked i was researching this car it says it goes about 20 to 30 miles per gallon so we're going to put in about one and a half to two gallons how much did you put in nine dollars seventy nine dollars seventy it's about six dollars a gallon so it's about one and a half gallons so hopefully that's just enough San Francisco out there somewhere. Oh my god, we made it. We have no indicator of how long, how much fuel we have left. That was a stressful last kilometer. I don't think you can get any more empty than that right there. Focus. Riding the red. Holy shit. We're on the, sh the air train to the terminal. Here we go! Okay, we're at the airport now. Just having some lunch. Keith got a burrito bowl. You're blocking the burrito bowl. Rice and beans, jalapeno, spinach, guac, cucumber and soy pizza. And this watermelon drink. And I got Chinese food. Because you can't come to San Francisco and not get Chinese food. Okay, hey, this vlog is going to be all over the place, but we are in Vancouver. We're just getting some food. We've got a and root beer, lettuce leaf wrapped Beyond Burger, some chips. And yeah, we're just chilling. We've got a three hour layover. Sorry, I'm eating. It's pretty cool in here. Like, there's even an aquarium here. Oh my god, there is a freaking mouse. Okay, he ran away. Let's see if he comes back. Oh! It's all the way down there. Do you see it? Oh yeah. No, oh, I don't want to see this kind of wildlife. He lives in nature, in the rock there. He lives under that log. This is wildlife. There's like a creek and everything going through the airport. He's in nature. No, this is not nature. Just like me. I don't know what it is, but this is one of my favorite drinks. A&W root beer. I got addicted to it when we lived in Canada, like a few years ago. And there's something about it that I think it just tastes better from the restaurant, from the tap. Um, I'm not sure why. Normally drinks don't taste better, but this one does. We can get it back home, but I don't think it's the same thing. So much wildlife at the Vancouver airport, including a starfish. Hey guys, I just realized I never ended the vlog. It's been a few days since we got back. We're back home. I'm just about to head out and go to work. I don't want to go to work. I want to be on holiday. But yeah, I just got to start unpacking, getting over this jet lag. been getting up at like... 6 6 30 every day for the last four days or something but oh well. yeah just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video in the future at some point yeah <laughs> <Okay>. bye <laughs>